Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading. Um, this is Daisy Olson, aka the Professional High Priestess. And I'm here to do the reading for you. So now Leo. Leo is a fire sign ruled by the sun. Leo is actually um, the fifth sign. It rules the fifth house of like uh, play, uh, romance, etc. Okay. Leo's also uh, animal totem is a lion as well. Now, um, do you guys know that... Uh, in the ancient Egyptian pantheon, Sekhmet, who was a lion-headed goddess, was sent out to battle by her father, Ra, the sun god. And she was a very good... She basically is like the um, god of warfare, and she's also the goddess of healing. And when she went into battle, she destroyed everything, and the only way they could stop her, because, you know, the war was over, and they were like, okay, now you're, you're going too far. So they had to get her drunk. It's a funny story. But anyways, um, Leo, this is your card, this is your energy. Leo at its highest vibrational um, aspect is very creative. It's an artist, etc. Nipsey Hussle is a Leo. At its lower vibrational aspect, it can be very vain and also very um, uh, 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 too sexual, like a sex addict, that type of thing, okay? So let's get into Leo's energy here. All right. Dear bright and well-loving ancestors, please give us a messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Okay, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Mm, I'll give it to you. I know what you want. You know I got it. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. All right, Leo. So right off the bat, um, I see that you just got yourself out of a toxic situation with the devil in the reverse. And I, it, that being right under the Ace of Swords lets me know that you got some mental clarity about something. You could have gotten some messages via social media or DM or seen something on social media or did some research and digging and found some stuff out about somebody or something, right? And it really made you jump more into like your higher self with the high priestess card. You could have also consulted a high priestess, right? To gain this information and knowledge, right? Or there's someone that you're connecting with who you consider to be a high priestess, right? Who was someone who's very powerful, intuition, all knowing, that type of thing, right? But with the four of wands here in the reverse, it's like, the, the, like there could have been some instability with the housing situation or the end of like a, a, of a contract or like a partnership with someone, especially that being right here next to the devil card. It could have been that this relationship was very toxic, could have been some infidelity secrets, especially with the high priestess. And now that you got clarity with the ace of swords, you're like, I'm done with this. I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm cool. Now, with the Page of Wands and Page of Swords here, I see that you're in a space of inquiry. Like, you're really trying to gather facts and information about how you should move forward in a situation or someone's doing this to you. Page of Swords is my social media stalker card, so someone could be actively watching you, especially with that being right on, on top of the High Priestess. Like, someone's trying to be stealth, stealth with their watching of you, okay? So let's see why they're watching and, and what is going on. What's the Page of Swords for Leo? Page of Swords for Leo? Page of Swords for Leo? Okay, with the Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords keeps on making his rounds. I don't know who's... Some, it could be some arguments, but it is retrograde, right? So that's when our communication is going to really be off. Okay? So let's see here. What is the um, Devil card in the reverse? What's the Devil reversed for Leo? What is the Devil card for Leo? You know I got a baby if you give it to me. I'll give it to you. Hey. What's the Devil reversed for Leo? Yeah, oh shit, Taki Mushrooms. Okay, it's going down. All right, what's the Ace of Swords for Leo? <clears throat> Five of Swords in reverse. What's the High Priestess? The Seven of Wands. Ten of Swords. Ooh. What's the Page of Wands? Ooh, yeah. It's something's going on. Okay, now what's the Four of Wands? The Emperor. Okay. So, Leo, this is heavy energy. So, basically, what I see from this situation is, like, there for sure was some spell work involved because the devil is clarified by the magician in the reverse and the tower in the reverse. So, someone could have for sure been doing spell work on you or juju on you, and then you figured out what was going on with the Ace of Swords being here and with the High Priestess being here. You figured it out. Or someone brought you a message, right? Because the Page of Wands is being clarified by the King of Swords and the Moon in the reverse. So... This can also be, um, you were dealing with a man, a, 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 a 
air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, because Aquarius is your sister sign, Leo. So you could have been dealing with one of them. And you got some messages exposing this person for who they are with the moon in the reverse. You got some very interesting messages about this person. Or you could be you could be a Leo male with this King of Swords energy in your chart. And you got some interesting information about someone and it, it some stuff came, became exposed. Secrets came to light. Things were exposed. With this Ace of Swords clarifying the Five of Swords, it seems like you got some com you got some confirmation about who your secret enemies are, who your competition is, people who are trying to slow you down, etc. And you were like, you know what? I'm, I'm I'm a Leo. I'm not having that. You're not about to come in here and try to like slow me down and cause problems for me and all these other things. Like, no, it's not about to happen, right? With that Five of Swords being in the reverse, so you got clarity now about who your opponents are, who your enemies are. And you're like, I'm good. I'm not messing with you. Now, with this Four of Wands here being in the reverse with the Emperor, I feel like there could have been a divorce because the Emperor is a married man, right? But um, with the Four of Wands being here in the reverse with this Emperor, I feel like this Emperor is like exiting the building, being in the reverse. Or this could have been a person who's very controlling and you're like, I'm done. Or this could have been a father figure. Maybe you fell out with the father figure, okay? Or maybe there could be some paternity issues because the, the Emperor in reverse too is someone who's having like issues around paternity. Like, is that my baby? Like, I don't know. With the Emperor in the reverse. Because the emperor is also a father. It's a man over the year, the age of 35, 40 years old. Could have his own business, etc. Boss figure. All right. Now with the high priestess in the uh, here being clarified by the ten of swords. who and the seven of wands. This is heavy energy. So Leo, from what I see, what happened is like some secret was exposed. A, ba a betrayal. And it made you very guarded and defensive. Right. With somebody. And then this betrayal here, it could have been repetitive because it's in the reverse of ten of swords. Okay, but the Ten of Swords here with the Magician card and the Devil here is also like spell work and curses. So be careful with who you're dealing with because I feel like there can be like some, some shady characters around you, Leo. Alright. This Knight of Swords with the Page of Swords, I feel like someone may have gotten some information that caused an argument, right? Or they saw something online or they were snooping and they got some information and it caused an argument. It caused like some really harsh communication between two individuals. Okay. This is my song. So we got the Six of Swords right here, Leo. So someone could be feeling guilt over this backstabbing a betrayal or using the spell work on you. But it's like you're having a hard time moving on from the situation because there's something like keeping holding you back or trying to keep you back. So with the five of swords, six of swords and the ace of swords here, I feel like a lot of like mind games, trickery, deception. You could be dealing with the Gemini energy here, especially with this ten of swords. This is Gemini energy. OK. I also feel like. Someone could have been doing spell work to stop this relationship, to stop someone from moving on. But it was exposed and revealed. Um, let's get some more messages for, uh, some more messages for, for, uh, Leo. Okay. The four of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. I feel like someone was doing spell work to get money because the four of pentacles in the reverse is all about like, kind of like gifts. Right, but this is also about like letting things go. So it could have been like you were holding on to something that was really toxic and very manipulative, and the tower came and shut that all down and broke it all apart. Leo, I also feel like, yes, someone could have been doing like um some juju to get money because, like I said, the four pentacles is about gifts, but also because it's in the reverse, I feel like someone let go of something toxic and, and could have been dealing with the Taurus. You know, they're stubborn, they hold on to situations for a long time. A six of cups in the bottom of the reverse, letting something go. It's done. Okay. What's the uh, Emperor Reverse for Leo? What's the Emperor Reverse? What's the Emperor Reverse with the Temperance card? Yeah. So there could have also been a lot of instability because the Four of Wands Reverse is like chaos and drama, like the ending of a situation, instability with the housing situation. But someone's trying to bring temperance and be patient to the situation, healing to the situation. Or this can also be like you're at odds with someone. You and this person are not seeing eye to eye and that caused the end of this relationship. Because the Emperor 2 in the Reverse can be someone who's very rigid and, and stuck in their own opinions, especially with this King of Swords being out here. You're dealing with a masculine figure who um is just, is not point is just not willing to see the other side of a situation there it's it's their way or the highway type of energy what's the knight of swords what's the knight of swords for leo yeah with the ace of swords yeah so someone there could have been some because the ace of swords is here twice someone could have been telling lies being manipulative etc 
And it came to the surface with the moon card being here too. Okay? And now that you got clarity about this person and the situation and how they get down, you're I'm I'm gone. I'm ghost. That's exactly what I see here. What's the six of swords? With the Queen of Cups, yeah. Someone's moving on from a woman. It could be a baby mama or somebody who's like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Someone's moving on from this Queen of Cups. Or this Queen of Cups is being very manipulative and trying to stop this King of Swords from moving on from what he needs to do with himself. This Queen of Cups was exposed because she came out right on top of the moon reverse. Yeah. Uh, or this Queen of Cups can have some guilt too. And I feel like it, this Queen of Cups can also be the one who was playing with the spell work. What's the devil and the magician? What's the devil and the magician? Yeah, Seven of Swords. It all came out with the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of air energy, so I for sure feel like you're dealing with your counterpart, Aquarius, okay? Sun, Moon, or Rising. But something came out with the situation with that Seven of Swords. But you see, Seven of Swords is all about, like, you know, trickery, deception, but to your own disadvantage. That's why you never win with this, okay? And then with this five, if you look in the card, you see that five of swords right there. That's that opponent, that backstabbing, that jealousy, hater type of energy. I feel like what happened with this magician and this devil card is like someone got exposed for who they are. And this person was able to see who they, see them for the manipulative person that they were, are with the magician in reverse. Okay, it caused a tower moment, right? When this truth came out. And then it helped this person break out of that devil energy and leave, leave something that was toxic behind. Okay, Leo? So that's what's going on for you for this month. Now, let's get into your numerology messages. Numerology messages for Leo, please. Numerology messages for Leo. All right, Leo. Um... So the first card that we got out here is following your dreams. I definitely feel like, Leo, you're going to be moving forward away from this situation. I feel like, you know, there could be a little bit of guilt tripping, some loose ends that need to be tied up. But I definitely feel you like moving forward and following your dreams and going off into a new path for sure. Okay? Especially with this temperance card here. You're getting divine guidance and help too. Then we have patience. So I feel like there's a situation that's about to be wrapped up and um, come to an end. And especially with this Ten of Swords here, and you're gonna, it's going to take for you to have patience. And the Temperance card too is about patience. And this this Patience card came out right on top of the uh, Temperance card, okay? So I definitely feel like, you know, it's going to take um, a moment to, to recuperate, but you're going to be okay, Leo. And then I see physical activity. So something with your health, okay? And I see physical activity is purple. That's crown chakra with the blue with the star chakra. I feel like there may be some stuck energy in your field right now, especially dealing with all this chaos, especially with this devil energy magician spell work. You need to do things to get that out of your system. So go sweat, run, go out into nature, etc. Things that are going to help you, you know, put, flush that out of your system and also do your healing work too. All right. So what messages do we have? Crystal messages do you have for Leo? Crystal messages for Leo? Crystal messages for Leo? Crystal messages for Leo? Crystal messages for Leo? So the first card that we got out here is Blue Barrel, and it means trust, okay? It says trust here. This is a beautiful stone. And it says, by letting go and trusting, I'm opening the door for the universe to deliver what I want better than I can imagine. Yeah, Leo, I felt like someone was holding on to something toxic here, but someone was exposed for who they are, and it's like, now you have to move forward because now you see, okay? And that, that clarifies this four of pentacles in reverse, like really trusting the process with the temperance card here, that angelic guidance and being patient that, you know, you know, this situation, there's going to be a good outcome here. Then we have bronzite perseverance that came out right on top of this patience and this temperance card. It's all going together. And it says, when I start a project, I have the per perseverance and endurance to see it through. So, you know, leaving the situation, moving on to a new start and really putting in the work necessary for that fresh start and that new start to be successful. Okay, Leo? And then I see um, Unikite. This is about forgiveness. I love this stone. It's very beautiful and it's like very healing too. I love Unikite. It's one of my favorite crystals. Affirmation. I by releasing negative emotions and forgiving the past, I am free to live a peaceful and harmonious life. So, Leo, this person that you're dealing with, you know, whether you're the King of Swords or you're dealing with the Queen of Cups, um, 
whatever's going on here, I feel like just forgive this person and move on. Because I feel like I see a lot of swords energy, especially the seven of swords. This person may have psychological issues, okay? And they just can't help themselves from being a liar, cheater, sneak. But that doesn't mean you need to be in there, you know, around them. You can forgive them and move on, you know, with your life and not have to deal with them. Okay, Leo? So that's what I have for you for your month of December. Thank you so much for joining my channel and be on the lookout for your next readings. Bye.